Welcome to Science with Dr. J. This is a series of 40 episodes uh, to talk about science and about our universe, which we are part of and it's part of us, so that we can understand more about nature and how the natural world works. So science is a way for us to learn about nature. It's somewhere something incredible is waiting to be known. And how true that is. So, ready for some surprises? Let's start. for me is a passion and I'd like to pass that passion that love of the natural world and how it works to you so that you can perhaps appreciate it and use it in your lives whether you go into a science career or not you will find that it will help you with your life so science is a way for us to learn about nature there is no such thing as Indian science or Chinese science or American science or German science science is the same science is exactly the same anywhere you go in the world so it actually unites humanity it unites us because we all speak the same language of science anywhere we live in the world we could be wearing different clothes eating different food speaking different languages come from totally different cultures 
And yet, when it comes to science, we're completely united. It's a very, very uh, amazing adventure that, that uh, I'd like to share some of those experiences with you. Why am I talking about marching for science? Once you establish a fact is true, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if you don't believe in it. Science is not religion. It's not dogma. So it's, it's, um, once you establish the facts, the facts stand by themselves. Your belief in it or not should be irrelevant. You can make up any story you want if it's not based on scientific research and experimentation and data. It's just a story. It means nothing. Okay, so it might be entertaining and fun, but we can't take it seriously if, it doesn't, if it's not backed up by evidence. Who you are, what your title is, what your position is, how rich you are, your opinion may be respected, may be listened to, but if it's not backed by evidence, it's meaningless. If we are a monstrous society, we can probably use science to do monstrous things. March for Science is not just the event that took place uh, in April of 2017. To me, March for Science should be a daily event in our minds, in our attitude, in our conversation with people, in the way we deal with society. And uh, uh, it is my hope that you will adopt science in your lives, <clears throat> excuse me, whether you, whether you um, uh, consider science as a career in your life or not. Um, uh, just be literate about science, understand it, and understand how it affects our lives.